Men Square Inspirational Motivational Videos for the Modern Man. Let creation begin. But when did the paying begin? But where was it written that men should pay more? Should single men pay more in 2019? Should we? Should we as single men have to pay more taxes? Or pay more for certain things because we are bachelors? Should that be the case? So let's use some Damon X Machina for the Nintendo Switch for the background footage for today. Released September 13th, 7 days before Link's Awakening and the Switch Lite, so difficult time to release but the game looks pretty good. But to the topic, I made a video some months ago about the origins of the word bachelor. I remember reading a point from an article as to how unmarried men were treated, how they were treated from Roman times from way back then, how they were taxed more and how they were banned from watching women's gymnastics, where you'd have to think back in the day that was the closest thing they had to adult movies, you know, seeing a bit of flesh and women bending in very suggestive angles. See, it's always been a sense of single men seemingly having more of a disposable income. Men that aren't married, living with a girlfriend or heavily committed, it's how these men just seem to have extra cash. But of course, Think of the amount of money spent on the clothes, the cologne, or whatever you may do for your grooming ritual. Before a date has even begun, the amount spent just on the look of yourself, just for the women, that alone is staggering once you realise it. Before you've even gone out, taken her here or there and spent this much. Just the procedure, if you will, the cost of that alone is staggering. Before I carry on, I am not saying in no way for a man to ignore grooming himself, no, but it's a different thing when you're doing it for yourself than to impress another or others. Cleanliness is next to godliness and all that jazz, and that's the last time I will ever say all that jazz. Let's carry on. But being single without the wife and the girlfriend is actually, it is actually one of the best money savers for men. It's an undeniable fact. Women are expensive. It's not the fact that you have to spend much, it's a sense of spending it all. It's still a cost somewhere along the line. You see, a clever woman would have a man spending and she'd make him think it was all his idea to begin with. She never asked him to do it, no. He just did it. So as single men, we of course have more disposable income. And with that, many men do treat themselves as they should. Maybe a holiday or two, a car, a bike, a horse, why not get a damn horse? A home or a down payment on a home or an improvement on the one you already have. Buy some shares or stock somewhere. Start a business, invest in an already established business. It's the power one has to do so many things. But it's because of these wild things, the things that men without romantic commitments can achieve, it's almost as if there's a preference for a man to be tied down than to be free. Is a free man too much of a thinking man? Thus, you have to shame him to settle down? Let's tax him more for being a single male. Make him have to pay more for his lifestyle choice. It's the clear and obvious fact that as well as the insult, it's the monetary aspect of being a single male that is also shamed. So this is why they have the tax benefits for some men that get married or even live with a woman in certain parts of the world. How they give you a discount, let's say. So to show this, they have all these societal insults. Oh, you're weird. Or you're gay. Or you can't get a woman. Or you don't know the true joy of the Panani. <laughs> Thus you're missing out. Oh, please. Oh, please. The thing about being a single man, it's, it's the time one has to almost meditate to take the time to unravel who they are and then to reassemble themselves into the man they may want to be. With all the joy a woman can give you, when she's actually doing so, it's the fact that women can be distracting, not even in a bad way per se, but sometimes it is difficult to stay fully focused around a woman. Many men do subconsciously lower their guard around a woman or women a woman they like or are attracted to. Some men are easily unaware of how soft they become in a woman's presence, or how hard I should say. Sometimes the simp does creep up on a man. He thinks he's in control, he's focused, he's on point, but a sharp and eager woman could break many, many men down, especially if she looks good, you know, if she's good looking. For many men, the focus just it goes out of the window. Could you see why Eve could tempt Adam 
so easily to go against God himself? But could you also ask the question, why did God give women such power? Was it that Eve was so persuasive or Adam such a fool? Could a woman cause a man to go against his better judgement, not because she's evil, but simply because she's a woman? Simply? Does it all culminate in the cost of love, of desire, of marriage? Is it the high price of romance? What do you think? But here's to us as men, here's to treating yourself to all that you have worked hard for. In other words, focus, observe, remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.